In this video I want to talk about setting up your front porch or steps down to grade. So the first thing I need to do here is to get uh, a little front porch set up. So I'm going to go to my first floor plan and I'm going to draw uh, a little front porch in here. So I'm going to use the floor tool for this. If it was lower on grade, I'd probably just do a concrete slab like a patio. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do a wood deck. So I'm going to begin um, with like this wood finished floor here and I'll go into edit type and duplicate it and I'm gonna make this um, my deck and then I'll go into edit type uh, for this span I would probably use a 2 by 10 so we'll put in 9.5 inches for the thickness there is no plywood sheathing on this um, we will have a finished uh, decking material that'll be an inch you'd want to update this from the oak flooring material and change that up um, the clapboard probably is going to be the easiest thing to do here um, you can change the color or the appearance of that if you wish uh, you can add uh, a tint color uh, so that it's a little bit darker uh, so if you want to go in and do that you are welcome to I'm just going to hit apply on this for right now uh, just so I have some lines on that um, so we'll hit apply on this and I'm going to draw in the deck here and this will go from my core boundary back here if I can snap into that and I'm gonna draw this out I'll go out like seven feet or so there again this is just a purely design choice for you on on where you want to put that um, clean that number up there and I'm just gonna hit the check mark on that and then I'll go to 3d and see what I have now typically your your deck would not be right on level um, because of water issues so you would want to drop that down a little bit so if I want to give that maybe a height offset so I have a small step to the outside uh, maybe negative four inches or so uh, don't go any more than like a full step like a full eight inches uh, in that case you'd need a step right outside the door which uh, would not be recommended so we'll just give that a small step down uh, and then we want to get down to grade here now eventually I will also need to add in some supports uh, for the deck so a couple posts to go around uh, but the next thing I want to do is if I want to travel off right here I need a section view in that area so I'll go to my first floor and I'm going to put a section view in similar to what we just did in the garage so looking out uh, in that direction uh, let's see how far down we need to go so you can see it's not very far that I need to go uh, I do have some issues here with grading I'll need to clean up uh, just so the ground doesn't uh, run into the house and end up with water pooling there so I will need to clean up a couple things there uh, but I'm gonna put in a small pad kind of right out here it'll just be done as a, as a concrete floor and this will be a walkway uh, that would go over to your garage um, when I'm looking at where my pad height would be uh, I probably want it to be about three or four feet wide so it's a nice walkway so I'm gonna go to annotate here and go to detail line and I'll draw a line in that goes over uh, about four feet and kind of see where I am uh, and then right there we're a couple inches above grade and I think with some flattening I may leave um, this pad right about here on grade so I don't have a lot of steps uh, to go down um, so that level back here if I look at this one uh, this is where I'm going to put um, put that so I'm going to put it kind of right below there I could maybe go down a little bit lower uh, if you needed to measure that uh, you could take it and go into annotate and come off of like say example that garage floor and let's say I want to come down here like nine inches below the garage floor I want to put that pad in um, I can go and, and I can go back to first floor to put it in that's perfectly fine um, so I'm gonna have a driveway kind of coming off like right here so if I were to draw a detail line in you know I'm gonna have a driveway that maybe goes to about there so I need a little walkway that goes over there so back in architecture I'll, I'll go to floor and I'm gonna select the uh, concrete slab for right now and you can make this any shape you want if you want to make it a little more decorative and add some curves to it um, feel free to have some fun with that uh, I'm gonna kind of line this up with my doorway here so kind of start this here take it out um, and then I'll line it up with this side of the doorway again this is just kind of a personal preference what you want to do here maybe you want to come out a few feet and then make a turn to go over to 
the driveway, something along that. Make sure it's a closed boundary. Um, and then, so if I hit the check mark on here, now I need to look in 3D. Uh, that floor is going to be too high because what we want it to be for this case in this house is nine inches below the garage floor. So I'm going to go garage floor and then uh, negative nine inches. Uh, and then we'll go check that in our section view. So if we look back in the section view here, we can see what's happening. There. Now I pulled that out pretty far, uh, so I'll need to modify my topography. You can see how that kind of sinks in over here. I'll have to go to my topography and lower a couple points around there uh, to make that happen. So if I go to modify sub elements, I don't have a lot of points right out here, uh, but I'll need to pick a couple points that are a little bit lower than that. So looking at the section view, uh, if I want to bring something down there, I'll again use a detail line. Um, and it's looking like, you know, if I was probably a foot down from garage level, maybe a little higher. So maybe 167, six, something like that. I'll add a few more points in. So I'll go back here, click on my topo solid and go to add points and I'm going to put in again absolute there 167 feet 6 inches and then I'll just go right to the top view and I'm going to add a couple points around that pad to kind of flatten that area out just a little bit and then we can see uh, what we have there so uh, now I have that pad kind of sticking up above so I've kind of regraded a little bit now we're finally to the point where we can add some steps in here. And again, there's not too many steps. This is maybe one or two steps that's going to show up here. Uh, if it was on my back deck, it would probably be a few more. Um, but I'm going to go again to my first floor. And this is where you got to remember a few numbers here. So if you remember, this, uh, this deck here is four inches below my first level. And this is uh, nine inches below uh, my garage floor. Uh, so again, you may have to look back at that section and, and take a look at a couple things uh, in there to figure all that out. Um, so again, back in, back in here, I'm going to the stair tool and I'm going to select my base as garage floor minus nine inches. Again, that's just for this project. Yours will be different. And then uh, my top is going to be first floor and I have that down uh, negative four inches. Uh, for this example. So I'll hit uh, apply on that and then I'm going to make a wider staircase here to kind of match uh, the width of that opening. So let's say I do like a like a five foot wide staircase and we'll kind of pop that off of there and it didn't make a whole lot of steps. All right and and that's that's what I have in this step. Your, yours might be a little bit different. So now let's look at our section view. Uh, it looks like it put them in the wrong direction so I'll flip the direction there uh, look back in section that looks good now for something like this if you are doing less than uh, two steps you do not need a railing so I can delete the railing off of this your other option would be instead of an assembled stair like this would be to add another um, kind of floor above here and just make it almost like a concrete slab uh, any of those would work um, so again, just review that for yours. Make sure you're looking at your numbers um, and do that section view so you can get your steps down to grade.